welcome back to Unfiltered Doll Baby, where we get into the business of some grown folks. Now, before we get started, if you are not into the gossip, and baby, this is not your typical gossip, this is gossip down at the jail house. If you are not into gossip, if you turn around, there is an exit sign with pink letters that glow on the table. What you will find for your refreshment is nothing. We aren't serving refreshments today, but we do love you and thank you for stopping by. So honey child, it's time to get into some mess. We are going to get into these text messages. Now I am sorry in advance, but I'm going back to day one, okay? Because I need to see something real quick. So if you don't mind, we are going to go back to 2022 down at Club 211, okay? We're going back to 2022. And I truly understand if you've already been there and done that. I know that there are several content creators that are reading the text messages. So I know it's repetitive. I do apologize. But I need to go back to 2022 because with all this jumping around, I just need to see a little something here and there. I don't know if where I'm going to stop. Or, or how I'm going to go about this traveling back to 2022 because that's old news. That's what they always say. We listen to old calls and all of this is old news. But I just need to see something because I'm just after yesterday's video. I just need to see what what how how did we get here? How did Sister Sonya Soldier get her promotion? I just need to see how everything went. Following this storyline, it's just very hard to remember everything. I have a lot going on in my life, baby. So sometimes I just don't remember certain things that I did take in from lives and, you know, hanging out in this sector and whatnot. So, baby, I have to refresh anyway. So let me get into 2022. I, and I do understand if you do not stay because I know you're like, baby, we didn't already been here and done that. But. You know, with the upcoming, you know, with court coming soon, not soon, but soon enough, it's, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of refresher, baby, okay? Get you a little water or something, okay, and sit on down. Sit on down. All right, so Club 211 did open on 11-23-2022. Remember, if I feel like I don't want to hear it and I feel like you don't want to hear it, we don't read it. We, we just don't. We don't read every text message. Honey, if it's fillers, we skip over that around here, okay? So we are going to skip that first day the club opened. Club 211, if you do not know, is the 211 pages that phone calls from prison did bless us with. So 1125, Sonia says, love talking to you. I think I'm addicted to you. Ernie says, I miss you so, so, so much and your kisses believe that my love well i guess that's why she feels like she's special because i mean if you were kissing her you said her kisses meaning you guys were kissing where in the mouth if you were kissing in the mouth one would believe that they were a little more than just a fling you know what i mean allegedly from what i heard i'm not sure this is what i heard men say that they don't kiss certain women in the mouth like you know certain women that they're just stopping over for a quick you know, for a quick dessert, you know, a quick, you know, here's some meat, you know, they say they don't kiss in the mouth. I know men lie, but what I'm saying is this, if he's missing her kisses, this is why she was led to believe that she had a possibility of filling in a position that she thought was going to be vacant soon. So Sonia says on 1130, oh, I'm excuse me. Nope, nope. I got the date wrong. So Sonia says, OMG, did things just get complicated? I appreciate you telling me how you really feel. I feel you're not that big on expressing yourself. Better late than never. You know 99% of my current life more than most. And I think by you always calling, asking me what's going on in my life, I just automatically spill it. And the fact that we did not go into this thinking we'd be more than just friends as your friend, I have your back 1000%. And I know it's important to have someone out here fighting for your freedom and justice. And I will be whatever you need. And I will be whatever you need. Let me say that again for the folks in the back and in the front. 
and I will be whatever you need. I know when I was young, I was into everything, no guidance, and I stayed in somebody's jail, and I grew out of those ways and changed. To hold something against someone based on their past as a young adult is foul. Foul as in F-O-W-L. Now, sometimes I don't have the best grammar either. Sometimes I might put a comma where a comma does not belong and things like that. But foul as in F-O-W-L. Now, allegedly, I thought it was F-O-U-L. But those of you down there in the comments who, you know, got your life together and you know everything about the English language and you know everything about grammar and spelling and all of that, okay, let me know if it is F-O-U-L, okay? Because I'm just trying to help the people out. That's all. No big deal. So for the DA to base this on your past as a young adult is crazy. And it shows how weak the case is. People change. Now speaking on your marriage. Now speaking on his what, ma'am? Now speaking on his what? Well, let me hear what you got to say. I feel if you two are still in love and seriously meant, The vows, this situation should not hurt it. If you two had issues prior, maybe not. Her daughter not liking you is an issue if she's in the same house and should have been addressed. Should have kept you and her separate. You two have been together 10 years. And I get it. Some things just run its course and end. You know what? (laughs) Yep, don't even do it. I don't know. Your IG page makes it look like you two are so good. I have no opinion on the matter. It's your life. I support your decision on it, whatever it is. See, she's out of pocket. She doesn't, somebody, I don't know who taught her how to be a side chick or how to be a special friend or how to be a mistress or how to be a current situation. I don't think somebody gave her the game plan on how these things work. There are positions that women play. Unfortunately, some people may not like to hear this, but there are positions that women play in men's lives, especially when they are dealing with a married man. I'm not sure where to put her at right now because we are in 2022, but she is violating. She's violating a few of those rules when it comes to being off to the side. Now, rules in the game, especially the game of love, change often, right? But based off of her age, since she is 78 years old, and I'm not age shaming. If you're new here, that is not age shame. I up the ages of the characters of this story just for a little laughter, okay? She's in her 50s, I'm well aware. And just to let you know, I'm not a young tenderoni either. I'm in my late 40s, okay? So what I'm trying to say is this. I know firsthand she doesn't have a clue about her position. I will tell my story one day. We're not here to get in my business, baby. Oh, I got it. Let me tell you something. Oh, I have a story, okay? Oh, baby, when I say I got a story, but see, I come from back in the day where there's some shame. We, I, I still have shame. I know with social media, everybody is exposing one another and telling their damn business. And I'm in somebody's damn business, right? But baby, when I tell my story, it's going to have a trickle down. It's going to trickle and, and spill over and trigger people. So I have to wait to tell my business, okay? I have to wait to tell my business, but trust and believe. And it's not what you think. I always say this when I mention my story. I am not a mistress. I am not a side chick. I was not the other woman, okay? But let me get on back into this here. Ernest says, I'm in love with you, Sonia. Ernest didn't waste no time securing the bag. He seen she wrote that long paragraph and he wasted no time securing the bag, the funds, the snacks, the pictures, the glasses, the magazines, the visits, the phone calls. Sonia says, I love you more every day and I want you to be happy always ever since I found you in there. It's like a dark cloud over my life. I need you to be healthy and I worry a lot about you. If I don't hear from you, it's a problem in my head. You have to call even if it's for two minutes. I seriously worry about you there. I feel like I have to take care of you while you're down and wish your family supported you during this time. Even if the relationship is not every day, the bond should be there. 
there. I'm not going to harp on it. I got you. I don't care about the details of those situations. I only worry about the you and I relationship. I feel like in my head, you are mine. I have to fix this. I have to fight for you to be free. I sometimes wonder if we would move out of this friend place, then I push the thoughts out of my head. We never agree to be more than friends and I'm trying to honor that. It gets hard, really, really hard, so hard. And the only way I'm, I had to stop myself because I like to tell stories and I like to ad lib and I almost went a little dark there, a little dark and nasty because she kept saying, (laughs) I'm so immature, grow doll baby you need to grow up grow like girl grow up (laughs) oh my god you guys you know it's the it's the it gets hard it gets really really hard like what are we talking are we talking about your feelings or are we talking about whatever he pulled out of that leather backpack down at the rv house baby what are we talking about here huh i have a question Are we talking about your emotions or are we talking about the bricks and balls he pulls out of that book bag, okay? I just want to know what you meant by it gets hard, really hard. But let me continue, but I try not to say anything to you, 1%. It's added pressure and it would not be fair to you. I think I purposely don't try to date, thinking someone will come, something will come out of this. Being in love with you doesn't help dating. I feel like no one could compare. We vibe so well. We can hang out and do simple things and it would be the best time ever. It's just always been conversation and great relations ooh y'all nasty ooh nasty nasto and nasty sonya on borrow time borrow b a r r o w e d sonya said now is that slang or sonya did you mean to spell it with a b o sugar let me know i'm just here to ask a few questions i've never been in this space to want what i can't have Love you. Well, I'll be damned. One thing about a man who likes to pillow talk with his other women, that always gets them in trouble. See, when you pillow talk to that other woman, she feels like she has the right to step inside of your family affairs and say whatever it is she wants to say. You need to put her in her place, but we all know how that ends up. Baby, why didn't I start at 2022 to begin with? This is juicy, baby. Oh my God, I feel like I'm reading somebody's diary. I feel like I'm digging through somebody's panty drawer. My God, today. So he says, I love you too, my love. Yes, I got your message once. Send pictures. I will get them in one day. Sonia says, when did you feel you are in love with me? You see how crazy I am? I will say this. I love your smile. I love how positive you are. I love how your morning spirit is. I love how you treat me. I love how you inspire me. I love the advice you give me. I love how you always took the time every morning to check on me. I love the time you spent with me. I love the time with you, even if no relations. I love sleeping with you. I love doing it with you i love how giving you are i love your body oh what do you love about his body or they told me that he didn't have bow legs sonya they told me he had rickets or something crickets i'm not sure jibberty jabby i don't know but they said he didn't have bow legs so what is it that you love about his body girl let us know gross I love the way you dress. I love your style. I love your country ass ways. I love how simple you can be. I loved your pickup line. Blessing. I love how you smell. I love how you feel. I love your head, neck, and face. I love your hands. I love your legs, bad knees and all. They did say he had them bad knees, baby. When I made that video and said I see what was going on and, you know, a post, you know, I was just saying allegedly this is how he probably was getting the women's. And I said something about them bow legs, baby. The girls didn't like that. They said his knees were bad and you just confirmed it right here. They said he had bad knees and a bad hip. I thought he walked like a penguin because he had bow legs. The girls said that wasn't it. You just said it right here that he had the bad knees. But I'm just, you know, hey, (laughs) Who am I? I'm not going to hear it. I ain't here to argue with nobody. All right. And what did she say? Oh, I love your walk. I love your laugh. I love your voice. I love your teeth. 
I love your mouth, lips. I love the way you kiss. I love the way your body feels when we're hugged up. I love the fact that we can just sit and talk about anything. You are my best friend. I am happy we met. You are a blessing to my life. I appreciate you and value more, value you more than I can say. Sonia, this is a merry you you got to be a damn fool. You said all of this to a man who was married? You gave all of this up for a man that is married? Baby. <laughs> what was in that backpack? Baby, what was it the rose? What did he pull out on you in that backpack, baby? Because you just stuck on stupid. Child. Why haven't you called me? It's getting late. I have to be at work Saturday at 4 p.m. and Sunday, 7 a.m. I worry about you. Love you. Next message. I'm in love with you, Ernest. Next message. Missing you so much. I love you more today. Next message. You are everything to me. I appreciate you. I love you more every day. I'm so horny. I miss you naked. Sonia, get yourself some Clorox. And, and just disinfect yourself. I was going to tell you to drink it, but I don't know if I can say that on here. You are absolutely disgusting and you should be ashamed of your damn self. That is just nasty. Yuck. You just couldn't be this desperate. You're not a bad looking woman at all. You're not. She's not a bad looking woman at all. She does have the size. Her body size is something that some men really do like. Okay, I'm not here to body shame, okay? Because, honey, I'm not nowhere, baby, listen, I'm about four, five of her put together. I am, I ain't lying. But she can get a man. I don't know what kind of man she can get as far as if he's going to stay because she's annoying. But she can get her a piece of man and a piece of meat. We ain't going to act like she can't do that. You sitting here falling head over heels over somebody down at the jailhouse. What did he do to you? Are you stuck on stupid? I gotta go. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video, especially if you've already heard these messages before. Also, we do have an email. If you look in my about you section or whatever that section is called where you can get up into my business, I do have the email link there. If you want to send me something about the storyline that you would like me to talk about, let me know. You know, usually my thing, I do the text messages. I really don't do the phone calls. I like to let my other girlies do the phone calls. But if there's a little voice note or a little something you want me to talk about, go on and send it to me in my email, baby. If you have something that you want me to read out loud to get the people's opinion when it comes to relationship or whatever the case may be, baby, I am not going to be judgmental. I can't say what the sugars is going to do down in the comments, but we can always read that out loud for you, honey, and keep you anonymous, okay? You do have to trust me when you send that email that I will make sure that you remain anonymous and you have the best day ever and thank you for tuning in.